Hi all, I'm Jenny Sauer. I am a mobile solutions specialist here at the USDA's APHIS PPQ End User Tools Group, and this is a continuation of the introduction to the ArcGIS Field Maps application. This segment will talk about signing in to the ArcGIS Enterprise, sometimes also known as the MRP GIS portal. In the fall of 2021, that portal was migrated from being managed by the company Esri into MRP. So you want to be careful to know how to sign out if you're in the wrong portal and sign in to the right portal. We'll talk about that. Now getting into a little bit of the nitty gritty, actually using the ArcGIS field maps application this is a good time to talk about where to find written resources to support you and we're going to refer to this these documents frequently during this video series. This is the APHIS GIS public web page accessible by internal and external meaning public, external cooperators, internal federal employees, anyone at any time. This is a public website and this website URL is down in the video description for your convenience. This should be bookmarked on your um, web browser and you should look at it often because new stuff's always being posted here. The top half of this main page has documents and the bottom half has our video gallery. So that's where these videos will also show up for your convenience to watch. Maybe you already know about this. I'd like to focus in on this general training documents section. You can see here there's ArcGIS field maps and if we click on that, I've got it open here in another tab general training documents. There's other applications listed here, but ArcGIS field maps is what we want. There are two documents here, the ArcGIS field maps getting started guide, which is what you can use and follow along with each of these segments, and the access training maps job aid. We'll talk about that in just a minute. First, let's have a look at this getting started guide. As you can see, we've talked about installing the application if needed already in a previous video. This video is talking about signing in to the ArcGIS Enterprise portal. Page three through five takes you through all of those steps. And if we just kind of skip over there, you can see there's lots of detail and screenshots there for you to follow. So now you know where to find this in written form. Let's have a look at what it looks like from my iPad. Here is my PPQ configured iPad. Again, if you have a PPQ iPad and you do not see field maps, it could be in a different location on the screen, um, or you could have different icons, but if you don't see field maps and all of these other survey applications, oops, then you should open a ticket with CECIT and have them check the configuration because these apps should be installed automatically. I'm gonna open field maps and you are presented very much like Collector with the same options to sign in with ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. We always want ArcGIS Enterprise for our maps. That's where they live. And there are a couple of options here. The first time you hit this button, you'll be, you won't see these two URLs listed. You'll only have the option to specify a new URL or scan code. And we don't typically use a scan code, so your option will probably only be to specify a new URL, which means you tap that option and go ahead and type in the URL manually. You'll have to do that carefully. The URL for the production, the MRP production portal, where all of our maps are held for official data collection, is also in the description below. And I've previously typed it in, so I'll go back and you can see there's two listed here. Maps.mrp is our production portal. Maps-stg, or think of it as stage, is where our training maps are held. No real data goes in the stage portal, so you want to be very careful that you are in the production portal, this MRP without the stage there. And we're going to sign in that way now. And then we'll hit continue and we'll be presented with another option. And again, we want to choose the enterprise login and eAuth account. So we're going to press this little blue button, eAuth account, which will take us now to the eAuthentication user ID and password. So keep this handy and be ready to type it in. Once you've entered your user ID and password, you can either hit return on the keyboard or close the keyboard and tap this log in with password button. 
Depending on your Wi-Fi connection, this might take a couple moments. We're going to hit Accept to the warning. And there we are, all signed in to ArcGIS Field Maps. This map menu may look different for you. It depends on what groups you're a member of, and I am a member of a lot of groups, so you will see probably a lot less here. But you can see there are maps that are on the device or belonging to you, and followed by groups. That's signing in. Page 5 of the user guide talks a little bit about training maps. Maps used in real data collection or official survey activities live in a different portal. It's called the production portal and that's the URL you will typically be using to record data out in the field. However, the End User Tools group this year, 2022, is creating training maps that are hosted in a stage environment. This means a separate URL to use them. And it's important for you to know that URL. It's also important for you to know that you may not enter real data in a training map. We want you to use these for playing around, for learning how to use the map, for um, teaching others, for showing demos, anytime you're gonna enter data that's not real data that you kind of need to play with a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how to sign into the training maps next. So here we are back at that screen that you see when you first tap on field maps. In order to sign in, we're going to again choose sign in with ArcGIS Enterprise. And this time we're going to sign into the training portal or the stage portal where all of the training maps are held. So let's say you want to test out a training map. You're going to sign into the stage environment to find those training maps. So let's go ahead and do that. In this case, I've already done it before. You can see maps-stg, that's the stage environment. If I hadn't already, I would go to specify a new URL and carefully type that in. And then later on when I come back, it's going to be sitting here just like you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the stage URL and continue. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in using eAuth just like the other URL. And it's skipped over asking me for my username and password, and that's really only just because I've just signed in. So the collector app hung on to that for me. If you've closed out of field maps, or if you've restarted your iPad, or if it's the next day that eAuth login will be lost. So it only holds on to it for that one session. So here I am in the training environment and you can see I am I belong to different groups and there's a lot less of them. All end user tools group na national maps that are made in the official production portal are also copied into a training group. This PPQ EUT training stands for end user tools. This is the big kicker that should be your number one alert if you are in the training portal and you're not sure. Every single map that is a training map begins with the word training in capital letters and is held within a group labeled training. So if you're in a map and you are playing around a little bit, which is what we want you to do, and then you go out to the field to collect data and you see the word training, you need to sign out. How do you sign out? You go back a little bit until you see this icon of a little blue floating head in a circle. That's your profile icon. Tap that icon and scroll up a little bit till you get to the bottom and there you are sign out. So I'm going to sign out, confirm that, and out we are. What if you don't see that PPQ EUT training group when you sign into the stage portal and you're expecting to use a training map? Well, you have to add yourself as a member of the group and you can do that for yourself. This job aid is one page on the mobile data collection website under general training and again in the ArcGIS field map category. It is called Access Training Maps Job Aid 2022. So you can step through adding your yourself in just a couple steps from any web browser, whether from a desktop web browser or from the iPad itself using Safari to navigate to this stage portal, locate the group among your organization's groups, and adding yourself to that group. Then you'll see in the iPad that you're a member of the PPQ EUT training group because you'll see it pop in there and you have access to all the training maps you need. So today we've covered signing into the production portal which is an MRP, a USDA MRP portal, and a stage portal where all the training maps are held.